Hi, so a really cool thing happened to me the other day that I wanted to share with everybody. Bit of a background, when I was doing my COVID videos, uh, I guess in January, one January, one last October, um, one of the things I was doing was going around, you know, looking for research papers and looking for studies and that sort of thing. And one of the things I found is that a lot of research papers get stuck behind paywalls. You can often find, you know, the, the, the abstract, as they call it, which is basically like the the short version of it, like kind of basically the summary. But if you want to really dig into how they did the research and dig into their methodology and that sort of thing, sometimes those papers are behind a paywall subscription fee, something like that. So I was having a conversation with somebody recently about a study that came out in August about how these researchers who are making a malaria vaccine, um, instead of sort of distilling it down into a vial to inject it into people, they used mosquitoes to deliver the vaccine to their test subjects. Now, the person I was talking to about this, they can't, They heard of this study in, in, in some article online somewhere. Um, you know, one of these articles that says research, researchers say this or a study shows that, and they don't actually point you to where that study is so you can verify. Now, a long time ago, and I don't remember when, I don't remember where, that sort of thing. It's totally unverifiable for me right now, but... Um, I came across this image that was purportedly from somebody who was involved in scientific research. And it was kind of one of these things where a question is asked, what's something that you don't know that you wish you did or that you wish more people knew about your field? And this, the response in this post was that um, people, she, she wished that people knew that if you want to get access to a research paper and it's behind a paywall, just email the researchers themselves. Now, one of the claims in this post was that researchers don't actually make any money off the publication of their papers. So the paywalls and stuff, that money doesn't actually get back to the people who did the research. So this person was just saying, well, yeah, just email the researchers and we'd be more than happy to send you a copy of the paper. So with that in mind, I decided, well, let me see if I can track down the author of this, of this research paper that I found. Now, fortunately, the short version of this uh, uh, paper that I found online, it did list all of the 25 researchers who were involved in the writing of this paper. So again, not knowing what to do, not knowing the protocol, not knowing if I'd even get a response. I just thought, you know what, I'm just going to email the head researcher. They've got their, their names first on the paper. I'm just going to email them, see what happens. So at 7.45 p.m. on a Thursday night, uh, I email... The head, re the head researcher um, uh, on this research paper uh, and just kind of say, hey, just have this conversation, you know, thanks for your work you're doing on malaria. Just have this conversation with the, with somebody. Um, can't get to your full paper online. Do you think I could get a copy? And let's be clear. I understand that like these research professors and stuff, they're busy people. Um, and so I kind of thought, you know, maybe in a few days time or in a week's time, I'll get an email back saying, no, just go through the journal or talk to somebody else or, you know, if I get a response at all. And in one of the coolest things <laughs> that has happened to me in a long time, um, two hours later at 9.45 p.m., on a Thursday night, I got a response back from that researcher with a copy of the paper. Like this guy who is literally at the forefront of research to eradicate malaria in the world took the time out of their day. And let's be clear, in my email, I was very, I wasn't like, oh, you should totally be, I was like, hey, you look, I'm a, I'm a non-scientific, I'm a lay person, I'm just an average Joe, just in a conversation, I just have a personal interest in this. There's no, you know, no benefit to him whatsoever to send this to me, but hey, just in case you have it handy, can I get a copy of it? And he absolutely replied at nearly quarter to 10 on a Thursday night, um, with a copy of this paper. It's also worth noting that the email that, that this person sent back to me wasn't just like a form letter. It wasn't just like a thing. Like he actually did address specifically some of the things I had in my email to him. Um, so it was actually a personalized response from this person. So I got to give a big shout out to Dr. Sean Murphy, who not only, uh, you know, is, is responsible for a research lab at the University of Washington, uh, but is also a practicing physician, is also a professor at a university, um, He's a busy guy. So a quick note on the study itself. So I was talking about how the researchers were using mosquitoes to deliver these vaccines. Um, one of the things that Dr. Murphy told me in his email is that um, the reason they did that instead of, instead of distilling it down into a vial to inject it is just because it was cheaper and faster. He made, specifically made a point to say like, obviously if it was going to go out to the public and stuff, they would have it, you know, delivered properly through injection and stuff like that. But for the purposes of their research, it was just faster and easier. 
Also worth noting, not the first time mosquitoes have been used in this way. Uh, there, I found a study when I was looking for um, this this study. I found a study that back from like 2008, 2009, where the researcher did the same thing. They were using mosquitoes as a vaccine delivery method. So it turns out mosquitoes do have a use. Who knew? Anyway, I just wanted to share that story. It was just a really cool thing that kind of happened where some, and literally, I, I mean, I have no business asking, <laughs> making this kind of a request, but I mean, like, it was super cool to get a response, and so quickly too, so late on a Thursday night, um, super cool to get a, a response back from this guy. So yeah, again, shameless plug for something I mentioned in, in my COVID videos, you can get right down to, you know, ground level on on this stuff you don't have to take anybody else's word for it if you want to know something about something you can get right to the source of wherever you heard that something kind of came from so what i've done is i've uh, put links to dr murphy's work uh, in the description below so if you want to check out some of the stuff that dr murphy and his team are doing um links are all down there again big thanks to dr sean murphy from the university of washington and uh yeah that was the coolest thing that's happened to me in a long time so thanks Okay, bye.